Hi folks, so the question we have in front of us here today is a question based on the perspective topic and it comes from the 2001 Leave and Sort Technical Drawing Paper and it is an ordinary level question from back then. Uh, so we'll just read off the question, it says figure 1 shows the outline plan and elevation of a building, draw the given plan and make a perspective drawing of the building when the position of the spectator is 9 metres, so I'm just going to highlight that a little bit there, ok 9 metres from the corner A, the picture plane is touching the corner A, we can see the corner A down here in our plan view, and then uh, and the horizon line is 8 metres above the ground line, ok so that's another little bit I'll highlight there. Uh, just looking at the measurements here, we can see the structure, the elevation up here in the plan view of the elevation projected below us, and the spectator coming from that at an angle of 45 degrees. Now, our scale here is 1 is to 100. That means 1 millimeter on my sheet is equal to 100 millimeters in reality. Applying that scale to the measurements given, okay, I've them done quickly here, okay, but essentially what it means is 3 meters will equate out to be, which is 3,000 millimeters, if I was to divide that by 100, that works out to be 30, okay. So we have 30 there, 20 there for 2 meters, 30 again, 40, 20, 80, okay. I've worked out all the measurements here, 40, 10, 30, 20, and then 15, 15, and 25 as well, okay. So starting off this then as well, also our spectator, instead of 9 meters, that's actually going to be 90 millimeters, okay and just put in mm there and then finally the ground line and the horizon line so the horizon line is 80 millimeters above the ground line okay so that's kind of the information we need to start off that question so in this question what we're going to need is just our plan view and from the elevation in the sheet we can obviously determine then the heights that we're going to use for as our various height lines okay so we'll start off that question now by setting up the picture plane the ground line horizon line and our various vanishing points as well okay so if you look here on the sheet, you can see here I've already constructed my plan view. I've kept it on the top right hand corner of my page and I've located my spectator which was 90 millimeters at an angle of 45 degrees uh, southwest of A. So the first step as always with perspective drawings is we want to set up our cone of vision as the spectator sees the structure. So that's as far left as the spectator sees and likewise here as far right. And now what we're going to do is, with that cone of vision, we are going to bisect that angle that is created in there to set up what is known as our line of sight. Okay, so using your compass, we'll bisect that angle in there. Okay. Having bisected that angle, what I'm now going to do is set up a picture plane perpendicular to my line of sight. I'm going to put in my line of sight first of all though. I'm going to put it in in a, almost a hatch line. Okay, So that line there is my line of sight. Now, setting up your picture plane, your picture plane is always going to be perpendicular to your line of sight. So I take the long edge of my 45, put the 30, 60 at the back of it, rotate it around and that will set up a perpendicular angle there and the picture plane goes through the corner A which they told us already so it's about there and I know now having the direction of the line I need to extend it a little bit further I think that should be enough okay there we have it the picture plane and now the next stage is setting up our points for our vanishing points so Parallel to the faces, okay, so we can see one face of the structure is here, another face is going in this direction, likewise, okay, and then the other faces are going vertically, okay, we can see the faces going here, okay. So to set up your vanishing points, you go parallel to the faces, the main faces of the object, okay. So I'm going horizontal there and up here vertical, okay, and at those two points, then they will help me locate my vanishing points. Now the next stage, and if you want to save yourself doing a lot of sliding set squares, is you're going to rotate your sheet to set up your picture plane, which we have determined, okay I'll write it in there in a minute, and you're going to rotate your sheet so that your T-square is in line with your picture plane. So I'm just taking off the masking tape here, holding down the corners, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate it in such a way that my T-square is in line with my picture plane. I'll try and bring it up far enough there. Like 
isn't happy with that now. So tape them down the corners again as best I can. And down here as well. Okay. So there we have it. That there is our picture plan, which I'll write in. PP will usually suffice. Okay. And now what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to set up my ground line. Now usually with my spectator just based on the camera and the visualizer being directly above it, I would usually set up my ground line uh, a nice distance below my spectator, okay, just to keep the drawing neat and tidy. Uh, for the purpose of today though I'm keeping it all within the shot of the video, I am going to just set up my ground line roughly just a bit below the spectator just to be able to keep it within the shot, okay. So ground line, and we know then that the horizon line is 80 millimeters above the ground line. So measuring up 80 millimeters, I can now find my ground line. Your ground line, your pitch plane, your horizon line are all parallel to one another. So I'll put in my horizon line like that. And then now with these two points here that I located previously, I'm now going to project those down my horizon line that helps me determine my vanishing points so this one here I'm going to call it VP1 and VP2 and once again horizon line okay at this point now we've actually set up the drawing okay to be able to complete it so I'm just going to pull it in there a little bit so you can see it a bit better now we've set up the drawing to be able to complete the actual structure, okay? Uh, so what we'll do is we're going to start there with corner A. Now, corner A is touching the pitch plane, therefore any height on corner A I can take it up as a true height, okay? So right there, corner A is on the ground. And what I can do, if I just go back to my measurement sheet here, I know corner A is this corner right here, which is, if I was to follow it up, that's corner A right there. And it tells me the height of this edge right here, so it does, which is 40 millimeters high. Now what's important to note is I have that edge, and that will help me determine the point here at the back, but also along that edge, okay, on this actual face, okay, is the top point up here as well, which is on, and it shares the same face, which is very, very important here. So I can actually determine here as well the actual top point or the pitch of the roof as well, which is up another 30 millimeters. So that's the first thing I'm actually going to do there. I'm going to find that face there. Okay. So with corner A, I'm going to start off by measuring up 40 millimeters and then adding on another 30 as well. So there's 40, just marked it there. And now I'm going to mark up another 30, which would be up to 70. So with those two little marks there, okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mark them, or sorry, project them back to VP2 because the face here is going in this direction. Okay, so I'm going to project them to VP2. Likewise, this one. Okay, and somewhere along those lines that I have vanished back to VP2 is going to be this point here and obviously the other face over here. So, likewise with any points, and we've done this in previous uh, questions, okay. We want the spectator's view of it, so I'm going to line up the pitch of the roof, which I know is here, with the spectator, project it down as far as my picture plane, where it hits my picture plane, I will drop it down, okay? Obviously the back edge here has already been done because that helped us set up our cone of vision previously. So this one here is going to come down as far as the tallest one, okay? And that's actually going to show me there now where the pitch of the roof is, that's the top of the roof there. And I'm also going to project down where this point here, hit my picture plan. That will help me determine the faces at the back. Okay. Having done that, I am now, just realized, I need to project back one more. So I'll project that down a little bit further. Because I forgot to project back my ground line as well, at A. So there we have it. I can now actually heavy in this edge here, okay, I can heavy in this edge, here as well, and finally up to here. And 
there we have it. That there is the first face of my object or structure completed, which is technically this face here. Now, at this point, okay, I'm going to kind of forget about the tower for a minute, okay? I'm going to imagine this structure was without the tower for a second. I'm just going to take the shape of the house here, okay? And we can see, obviously, the house kind of goes like this, essentially, and it juts out here a little bit as well, okay? So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to try and complete it if I imagined the house was going as far as here in this case, uh, but I would imagine it was kind of continuing on up to here roughly, but just to be able to find that face there, okay? Uh, now, what's helpful is we have already got the height for this edge here, okay, which is where this face is going, and it was up 40 millimeters. So it's very helpful because that face is going in this direction, so it's going to vanish over to VP1. Okay, so from both A, it's going to vanish over here, and it's also going to vanish from the height of 40 millimeters. And now, to actually find where that finishes, it finishes here, in this position. So once again, I want the spectator's view of that, so project that point down to the spectator, stop it at your pitch plane, and project it down to your perspective view. So I can now heavy in this. Likewise here. And here. Okay. So that's that face done. Now what I'm going to do is, as I said, I'm going to imagine as the roof or this kind of little tower portion is not there at this moment in time. So that line there, okay, if I just imagine that was the pitched roof, that vanishes back, in, or sorry, goes in this direction, which is parallel, okay, sorry, here, which is parallel here. So I'm going to find this to VP1, or vanish it back to VP1, I should say. And where that actually finishes is back here. So let's find that, projecting down to your spectator. Where it hits the picture plane, project it down. There we have it. That point right there, okay, is where it finishes. Now, I'm not going to heavy in from here to here. And the reason for that is, even though I have it, is because I know I have to put this chimney guy in in a while, okay? Now, to be able to complete uh, this kind of bit that's jutting out in this direction, okay, I can actually first of all find where it's jutting out of the ground because I do have a point that's going out here, this face. So that face is going in this direction, which is going to vanish over to VP2. So from VP2, I'm going to extend out beyond that point down here. So you could bring the line the whole way down, or you could just do it neat and tidy like that as well, okay, just to keep your drawing neat and tidy. If you wanted, you could extend, as I said, it out the whole way. Now I want to find where that finishes. It finishes here. So, spectator's view of it. Hits there at the pitch plane. Where it hits there at the pitch plane. Project it down. And once again, that'll be that edge. Okay, so I'll heavy in, just for the videos and demonstration purposes. And now it's going in this direction. So once again, it's going to vanish to VP1. And to find where that finishes, it's this edge back here where that hits the picture plane, project it down, and there we have it. Okay, so I'm just heavy in this bit a little bit. I don't know exactly how high it is just yet. Okay, I'm not sure 100% just yet, but I will find out in a second. Now, to be able to find out where that actual height is up here and how high that little bit juts out there. Just going to come bring you back to the sheet here a second. We don't have the height for this bit here, okay? We do not have the height for that. But what we do know is, if we look at it, it's actually on the same slope as the roof, okay? Out to here, but it's just extended out, okay? So using that, what I'm actually going to do is, I am going to create a parallel line with one of my vanishing points, okay? So from here, if I imagined I was to extend that line up there, okay? to find a point up here that we can use that would be quite helpful to us, okay? And with that point, okay, if because I have this one, with this point then, because I would have the slope then of the roof and a line on that slope, that can help me determine where this point is, okay? So once I find this one, because I have this one and I find this one, okay, when I connect them through and extend it on, that will give me where this finishes, because that will give me the actual angle of the slope and the, the slope of the roof, okay? So that's what I'm going to do. So, in my plan view, as I said with this line here, I'm simply going to, just a little bit of sliding set squares here, just to make sure I'm 100% accurate, because we can see that it is parallel with this face. I am going to extend on 
that line there right there like that okay and at that point right there I want to find that along this edge back here that I've already got so what I will do is I will project that down to my spectator once again stop it at the picture plane hit the picture plane right there and now having stopped that at the picture plane I can project that down and I can find then where it hits on the roof or that ridge of the roof there okay having done that I can extend that down to here okay and like I said then I can continue it on to find where we finish out here along this so hopefully I didn't go too far doesn't look like it did that's fine and you can see here that is the angle of the roof there okay and coming down and it shows me then how high this guy goes up okay which has been very helpful we can heavy in this guy now to here and having done that then from this point right here looks like I kind of have a line going through but I'll just do it again just to be exact it's probably a little bit off you can see there so just not off but a little bit above the line that was previously there heavy this in and at this point right here now I know he connects up to the pitch on the opposite side so that's going to help me draw that in and there we have it okay so we can see here now it is all done on the left hand side so the last little bit that we actually have to do is we have to work on this little tower structure here okay and uh, what we're actually going to do is first of all uh, on the tower structure I am going to complete the tower in the sense that it is going to uh, sorry the sloped bits that are going to come down here so obviously if you look at the tower there's these kind of two sloped bits that come down here and here okay so I'm going to apply kind of the same principle that I did here previously alright uh, so to be able to do that what I'm actually going to do is there's a couple of ways you could go about it but the way I'm actually going to do that is I'm going to extend out this edge here okay so by extending that out once again go back to a little bit of sliding set squares parallel with this face here I'm going to extend out that edge there and also extend out this edge here alright that should help me work out that little bit I probably didn't need that one I just realized at the back now having found this point here okay I know that's on the angle of the roof which is this line here okay and that's why I have it done because they're running in parallel directions okay same direction so having found that project that down to your spectator stop it at the picture plane where it hits the picture plane project it down and there it is right there that's the point I was looking for now what I can do is that face is going back in this direction so I can vanish that point back to VP1 and somewhere along that line is going to be this point and this point which is going to be very helpful to me okay to find those two points project them down to your spectator stop them at the picture pen and here we are we find them there's one and finally there's two so there we have it that's the first edge there of it of the object now what I want to do is I want to find this point right here project it down to my spectator because I know that's on the ridge of the roof project it down to the ridge of the roof there and here we have it Gonna connect him up there and now I can actually see this bit here how far I'm allowed to heavy in okay so that's been quite helpful there now what I have to do is I have to work out the overall height so to be able to do that we can see here I've already got a height of 40 and 30 put in and that helped me do this face here A now the height of this bit here before we actually work on the cone part of it okay or sorry the, uh, the, the square base pyramid part of it obviously we can see that it's obviously square at the bottom there okay but we have to get up to this level here and that there is up a total height of 40 plus 30 plus 20 okay so that overall is up 90 millimeters high so to be able to do that we're going to have to use a height line now I've already these height lines almost brought down 
Um, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to extend it down just 100% be 100% accurate again so to use the height line I'm going to extend down this point here down to my pitch plan like that and right from there okay I'm going to put a little X there right from that point I'm going to project that down to my ground line okay we're just using this is the method for using a height line here put a little X down here and from that X I'm going to mark up 90 millimeters which is the height of the point I want so from the 90 okay which is up there right here at this height and now I know that face there that edge is running back in this direction so it's going to vanish over from the 90 to VP1 right there have that and that will actually determine for me how high I am meant to measure up here I can see it went back there and this fellow right here as well so I can heavy in that face there's that face completed and now I can heavy in my back edge which I wasn't 100% sure to heavy in so there's that back edge done now I'm going to get this face here which is running in this direction okay so it's going that direction so from here I'm going to vanish over to VP2 we're almost completed now vanish over to VP2 that finishes right here at the back so connect that up to my spectator where it hits my pitcher pen project it down it's going to go down there at the back so right there now we've got this edge and the last little bit we have to do okay is just working out on the uh, apex and this is why I probably said guys if you remember previously in the question at the very very start of the video I said maybe do your ground line a little bit further down than the spectator maybe 50 60 millimeters further if you're doing this question because uh, my pit or sorry the apex of my um, little kind of tower bit here may go up into my drawing here okay nothing wrong with that but obviously it can just kind of ruin the overall effect of it as well so to be able to do that we're going to just use another height line and I know the pitch which is the exact point up here okay of that tower okay at the very very top okay is right there at this point okay so I'm going to extend that point down once again using another height line okay this time I'll just call it Y you don't have to call them anything you can if you want where that Y is I'm going to bring it down here and the overall height of that we've added up 40 plus 30 is 70 plus 20 is 90 plus another 30 is 120 millimeters okay so the overall height for the y I have to measure up 120 as you can see here it's after going up into my drawing a bit so I actually have to go up past my picture plan so from the zero I'm going up to 120 so there's my height right up there and I brought my height line in this direction okay which is parallel okay over here so I'm going to bring that 120 over to VP1 and so I have to go up into my drawing there now the point I want to find is here so as always bring him down to your spectator where it hits the picture plane project it down in this case though because my height line is above it I'm actually going to project it up and it hits right there and at that point I know then it connects to all the corners so down to here down to here <coughs> and finally last one down to here okay so as you can see there I have the tower and as I said at the very very start uh, I probably had a little bit of room I could have gone down a little bit further here um, just on the camera above okay I could have gone down a little bit further but that there regardless of that is the question completed okay and that was done by using various height lines okay the very first height line I used was from the point A okay for the face here and we got the rest of the structure and then the last part which was probably a little bit tricky okay and working your way around the object was working on this kind of little tower piece here okay where we took two height lines one for this face here okay we projected it down measured up a distance I think it was 90 and then for the very very tip point okay uh, measured down or a broad line down here another height line measured up 120 okay and projected that back uh, once again guys I hope you found that helpful that is the 2001 ordinary level question complete okay